Okay, so that is <laughs> the new music. Um, as soon as that song started, I really just couldn't um, help but play along with it. You're up to episode 56 in our Nemoria playthrough. My name is Ninja Derpify, and there's been an update since the last episode. Um, but in the last episode, we did kill a two-headed ogre and a goblin with um, some steel armor. So you can see we've got some steel armor on Odlimo right now. That is just, mm, that is just beautiful, fantastic. Um, I'm ex extremely excited and happy about that. Um, but again, now that I do have that stuff, I think the next wave is actually going to be harder than the last one. So we might even get two um, goblins actually wearing some of that some of that steel armor. So it's going to be a little bit of an issue, but I think we might be able to get through it with a little bit of ingenuity and amazingness that always comes from the Grizzly Inkling. 0.8.29.1 has been released, and the biggest change, apart from lots of bug fixes, has been um, the smelter workshop. So if I go into um, our build area, go to our workshop, it should be in our metal, and we can see there is a smelter. So I don't know if the... So the forge... What does the forge do now? So the forge will do... Okay, so the smelter, I think, is for turning already made items down into bars again. Um, so let's just go ahead and check that out. We'll, we'll go ahead and get that built as well. Um, just to see what it is all about. So go to our smelter. And what do we need for this? Um, we need molds, we need hearths, and bellows. Okay, so where the hell do we make all that stuff? Molds, hearths, and bellows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume maybe the carpenter makes some of that stuff. Um, so we can make uh, bellows here. So go ahead and make a bellows. And molds and hearths. So instead of um, just searching through all the workshops and the possibilities of where that could actually be, we can just see that um, the molds are made in the stonemason's workshop and the hearths are made also in the stonemason's. So this is just the um, the menu for creating the smelter. And if you click on, we don't even have to click on it, you just hover over this um, little little question mark over here and that will tell you what um, that item to the left of that mark actually, what it, how it's made, you know, where it's made as well. So the stonemason should be the one that um, stone carver, this should be the stone, and that's stone cutter. Stone mason should be this one. And we'll go ahead and create, do, 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 do down the bottom here, hearth and a mold. So you need um, quite a few blocks to make um, both of these things. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. That should get done fairly soon. And once that gets done, we can go ahead and get the smelter up. Now we can see that both um, distilleries are actually working here. We can see someone has actually um, come straight to the job. Um, is actually starting work on that hearth and that mold. Um, just taking lots of those blocks out of here. Blocks don't actually... Do blocks actually sit... Okay, so blocks do actually sit in crates. Um, so it is kind of worth it to have some crates lined up for blocks there. Um, but I've already got this um, second stockpile here. This, this stockpile and this stockpile are both for my blocks. And um, Yak is born. It looks like we've got people bleeding, but we don't actually... We've just, just got people coming out and sort of fixing the doors and, and looting all the corpses that we've just um, recently killed. Now, along with that, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see how much, uh, how many bars we actually have, because we haven't been having a little bit of an issue with um, having lots of bars. We actually do have quite um, a better number than we used to. We used to have like maybe like two or three um, bars, whereas we used to have like a million different ores, um, just not getting smelted. So if we go to the forge, um, it is on priority two, so that's pretty much the highest that anything will go apart from emergency stuff. So um, it's going to get made fairly shortly. Now we should have three spikes here, and we should have a base there. So I forget where this gets combined. Um, I think it's in this one in the engineer shop. We actually here we go. We make a spike trap. So we'll just craft that out of whatever. Someone's going to come over. Yep, that's going to get done. He's going to take the bases. He's going to put the spikes there. And hey presto, in short moments, it will actually turn into a spike trap. It's actually taking a little bit longer than I thought, but traps can be pretty damn difficult. And now where will he actually haul that? Will he haul that into this furniture area or will he actually place it? I think there was actually, yeah, there was a designation to actually place a spike trap in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and want to... Um, I think I'm gonna actually remove. Do, 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 do. Can I remove? Wait, not this designation. We actually have to deconstruct this torch here. Am I? I should be on the right layer for that. I'm not sure why that isn't working. Um, but that is a pine torch. Maybe it's already deconstructed. Can I cancel the job? I can't cancel the job either. 
Not too sure what is going on there, but we're gonna go ahead and um, actually make some walls, make some stone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make it out of raw bauxite because that's what um, this whole hallway's been made of at the moment. Just gonna continue with that theme. Now I don't know if putting a wall over items is gonna just like get rid of them. Um, that might actually happen. So what I'm gonna do is just extend this um, back here. And I'm just going to continue on um, making this sort of spiral. But I'm also going to go ahead into terrain um, and remove these ramps here so that um, people can't just run and get access to that that way. But I will need to remove these ramps regardless um, because I'm going to have to create some, um, some, some walls and floors where they actually are. Um, so that should get done. I don't know how quickly it's going to get done because the builders, again, are doing a lot of stuff. Now this guy is rushing up here. And I think he's actually doing what I don't want anyone to do, which is coming up here. Oh, so basically he's hauling this stuff. Okay, well, hmm. I don't know if I can do anything about that except just, just hope that it doesn't happen at the wrong time. Actually, yeah. Oh, wait, I can actually block this off. Okay, that's what I have to do. So if I go to my remove ramp, get rid of those ramps, and then I go um, to make a wall. Let's go ahead and make it out of stone, doesn't matter which stone, because this is just going to be... Oh, Lord of Jesus, this is going to be... Um, okay, so these mants are actually spotted above... It's actually where I just was, this is um, at the castle. Um, many, many mants have been spotted, not on that tile. Um, I guess they're just all... Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including these two guys out here. Big, big problems. Um, but we're going to go ahead try and combat them because they're bastards. Um, I wonder if clicking on the tile with the most mant workers does anything. Um, I don't think it would really... Oh, we got even more mants, two more mants spotted as well. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh man, these guys are gonna be like a pain in the ass to spot. I mean, not spot, to actually kill. Hold, oh, but I already put the attack order out, but I, I'm not gonna get to use the traps. Um... Oh, and this guy's out here. He's actually doing, actually doing a bit of work there. And the mans are gonna. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Okay, so the traps were a bit of a failure. We can see the mans are moving in, and this guy's come here for some reason. Um, he's he's climbing. Whoop! Oh, he's chasing. He's chasing someone. He's actually chasing this guy right here. Oh man, he's got him cornered. Is that only one man? Oh, that's two mans. Oh shit. Oh my god, Hero is dead. They just made such short work of him. Um, the man has died. Vinny0066 has died. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I don't like this. So Wiggly Bits has died. Um, we've only taken down one man. What? Mass Murder Montage has died. The sun has set. More mants have been spotted, apparently. Or oh, this, um... I, f I totally forgot about the mants. Um, a mant has died, though. You can see the, the people are rushing back here. Oh, and they're bleeding. They got lost arms and stuff. Uh, and he doesn't, he doesn't know where to go. What? Go to the bandages. What are you doing? The mants are pushing in. Oh, man. Everything they touch turns to, to blood. Stone Golem Frodo has bled to death. Cherry Coke has died. Oh my god, Zeke has died. Uh, I don't like this. Captain Jetbeard has died. Captain Jetbeard came to reset the traps and he died. Fancy McBig Tits has died. Oh my god, everyone is dying. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This is horrible. This is so horrible. Zeus has died. They're breaking down the, the floors. I mean, the, the doors. What's this one doing? I don't even know what he's doing. Oh man, what? Oh, they're coming in. Oh no, they're gonna kill my yaks. Please, not the yaks. Anzalak has died. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my god. We've got eight people left. Um, can we go ahead and put those guys in the military um, as a last ditch effort? So mix. Just put all these guys in the military. Um, Raiden, Jungle Toe, and then we'll get the, um, the Moonclothes of Gold, uh, King Gear, 
Papa and RWGN, Fat Guy and Jump Daddy. And maybe they'll pick up some... A mantis now known as Lurt the Hug Bridler. Nad Nalden the Bitch Hounder? A mant is now known as Nalden the Bitch Hounder. Um, wow. I think Vinny has risen from the dead. I wonder if the zombie Vinny will... Yep, he's going to go ahead and fight... Um, he's going to go ahead and fight those guys. Curse the Lover, Bowl the Gorger. These mans are getting legendary names by killing my gnomes. Um, this zombie is actually doing not a bad, not a bad, um, not a bad job at actually hitting this man worker. Um, this place looks absolutely disgusting. This. Hug the mant of scum. You're damn right them mants are always scum. Oh, there goes the autosave. Um, the Grizzly Inkling. Congratulations. Congratulations. The Grizzly Inkling has fallen. Um, I guess that was inevitable. But I only had... Well, 340 food's kind of a lot. Oh man. Oh man. What where to from here? Um can we we can't keep playing it. This is just this is how it is. It's just It's where it's at. This group fight. This there's a lot of group fighting. A hell of a lot of group fighting. Bites with her mandibles at the yak, but the yak dodges the attack. I didn't know a yok a, a yok. A yak could actually dodge an attack because they're so fat and heavy. But again, they are probably pretty muscular underneath all that fur. So they probably can move kind of, well, quick enough. Um, the yak kicks. Um, but then Lurt Herg Hug Bridler. Oh man, this is the yak battling. And if we go back to the last day, this is where everything just went down. This, These group fights... This is this is where my gnomes died. Our gnomes died. These are our gnomes, and they've died. Well, obviously the grizzly inkling is very dead, um, and that just makes me scratch my head. I'm actually scratching my head, and I don't know what um what the future of this is going to be at all. You know, well, there's obviously no future in the Grizzly Inkling. That's pretty obvious. Even if I went back and tried to put everyone in the military and, and do stuff quickly, it wouldn't happen. I don't think I even made a backup of the last save anyway. Um, and that's really not the way that this game should be played, I think. Unless you get, you know, like really disadvantaged by a bug or a glitch. Something that really is out of your control and shouldn't be happening. Then you can go back to a save and then fix it. I am I wouldn't see a problem with that. But I'm definitely not going to go back and try and save this. I simply cannot. And it's something that I just don't want to do. The rise of the Grizzly Inkling was such, such a glorious, such a glorious one. I mean, the fact that I made it this far is just amazing. I mean, we started out, we started out like up here and we're just like, oh, let's cut down some trees, let's get some stuff going. And then we sort of moved over here and we started getting some farms up. And then we sort of dug into here, and then we just expanded, and people were murdered in their sleep. I mean, we did so much mining. I mean, we had so much food for a time. We had like one or two thousand food for like a long time. If there was a food achievement for just having a lot of strawberries and crap, then we definitely would have won it. We got, you know, we sold with the traders. We only got down to minus 11, um, which I guess is kind of a poor effort. We could have just gone so much further, but uh, stuff gets in the way, I guess, when, you, when you're trying to make a castle. The castle, I mean, if we're honest, it was kind of a failure, but it had a really good scaffold. Like, 
just imagine this would have been walls of beautiful stone with um with stone watch towers at each corner and there just would have been beauty inside it would have been statues and and gnomes running around little children having fun even though there are no children but we would have imagined they were children because imagination is a wonderful thing um so yeah that's that this has been the rise and the fall of the grizzly inkling we went out with a hell of a fight um we definitely killed some some mants and those mants they they will remember our name i think i think there's no doubt that they will go home to their stupid little little cardboard box that they live in little bastards um and and say man you know we've taken down a lot of kingdoms but that grizzly inkling that was something else that was that was almost unbeatable if we didn't bring 500 million ant mans to actually kill them but we got to year two the 11th day of fall um tell me what you guys want do you want some a new a new series right now do you want me to wait until it's out of i don't know until there's like a, more features into the game because then we can um basically start and know what we want to do from the beginning um because yeah but new new stuff is added and i don't know um the best way to put that in during i don't know i don't even know this is getting really confusing but just tell me what you want to what you want to see, and um, I will definitely do my best to make that happen for you. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this. This has been outstanding, um, without a doubt, the most successful series on my channel, and it will come back. I just want to say that it will come back. Do not worry. Um, it's going to be back with with a new ragtag bunch of bunch of bastard gnomes. I want to say sorry to everyone that didn't get named. Um, there's probably still at least a hundred plus people on the name list. You will be kept for the next series. Without a doubt, you will be kept. I still have the word file. It's got all your names there in the order that you asked for them. Um, and you can still, if you haven't, um, done that, you can still do that on any of my videos. Um, and I will keep you on that. Just be, just, you know, just be prepared that it's going to take, uh, quite a long time because, you know, you don't get that many, you don't get that many, um, gnomes. And there's a, there's a hell of a lot of you, which I want to just, just thank again for watching and following along, liking, commenting, doing whatever you have been doing, subscribing to my channel. It's just hugely appreciated. And, um, this may be a sad time because we've lost something so dear to us, but we'll rise again, you know, don't, don't cry. It'll, it'll be okay. We'll, we'll make it, you know, next time. We'll get past year two, the 11th day of fall, and, you know, we will show these mans who the real leaders of this, this whole universe are. So with that amazing speech, my name is Ninja Derpify, and I will see you in another video. I love you.